Good morning, dear children. I am Satyashree, Department of Chemistry from Bharadasnar Metric High Secondary School, Arakonam. Now, I am going to discuss on the topic of 9th Standard Science, first chapter in Chemistry, the language of Chemistry. What is Chemistry? Before we get into the language of Chemistry, we need to know what Chemistry actually means. Yes, Chemistry is a branch of science which deals with the composition properties structure of the substances which are around us and the transformation of the substances from one form to other form what is the change happening inside these are all the study of chemistry now before it, we get into the language of chemistry we need to know something about the chemical reactions chemistry is all about chemical reactions let us do a simple chemical reaction which can give you an idea about how a chemical reaction looks like. Yes. How the beautiful pink color arise? I just mixed two different liquids which are colorless. Suddenly a beautiful pink color arises. What causes the transformation? Anybody knows? Did I add any color? Did I add any other powdery substance? No. I just mixed two liquids colorless liquids that too and it gives a beautiful pink color in seconds there a chemical reaction takes place so now we are in the state to know how the beautiful pink color arose so something we can see by our eyes it includes both physical and chemical change what do you mean by physical change and chemical change physical change if you are heating water it turns into its gaseous state so from that gas, gaseous water vapor, I can retrieve my, back my water. So, I can say it is a physical change because I can reverse the re reaction so that I can get my water back. In the same case, a chemical change is somewhat irreversible. If I am burning a piece of wood, can I get back my wood? No, it will become an ash, a purely new compound. So, chemical changes are irreversible, I can say. For example, in this chemical reaction also, some new compound is formed, some new compound is formed so that we can confirm that by a formation of a beautiful pink color. Yes, beautiful pink color. What causes that change? How that color was caused? So, some kind of electronic transfer is happening in between the reactant so that it gives a new product which, is, which contains the properties which are not at all matched by the reactants. So, the formed compounds are entirely new and it has different properties from the reactants. Before we get into the subject, we need to know something about this table. This is called modern periodic table and this was proposed by Mendeleev. So far, 118 elements were discovered and they are arranged in the order according to their periodic properties and the atomic numbers. In this, I can take a simple element for example oxygen I am taking a simple element oxygen why I am writing oxygen as O why not OX yes this is the symbol of the element we need to know first symbol of the element in language of chemistry so I can say O is the symbol of the element oxygen I can define this symbol as shortest form of an element define symbol symbol is an shortest form of an element okay fine let us take another example of phosphorus yes p p is the symbol of phosphorus what is this sb what is this cl yes cl means chlorine sb means antimony why antimony is represented as sb why not an do anyone know the answer if oxygen is represented as o why not lead can be represented as l do anyone know the answer but lead is represented as a symbol of pb what do you mean by this pb yes pb is the latin name of lead where the symbol is derived from the latin name of lead is plumbum and pb is the symbol of lead likewise ferrum ferrum is a symbol of the element of 
iron yes the common one of the metal which is used as common in all of the household utensils iron is represented as fe the latin name of iron is ferrum this is the thing we need to know in the language of chemistry next symbol we have seen yes some of the common symbols boron is represented as b carbon is represented as c chlorine C or cl bromine br likewise symbols are represented as a shortest form of an element this symbol gives the qualitative meaning that it is a shortest form of an element what is the what p represents phosphorus okay now we discussed about the symbol now we are going to discuss about chemical formula what a chemical formula defines yes if some chemical is made it it has to some chemical formula for example this is a chalk piece we can say but what is the chemical formula of this chalk piece yes calcium carbonate is the chemical formula of the commercial chalk pieces then what are the elements present in this chalk piece the chemical formula is calcium carbonate ca co3 what are the elements present in its calcium carbon and oxygen so this calcium carbonate is made up of calcium carbon and oxygen have you heard this chemical before nacl do anyone know where nacl is used yes nacl means sodium chloride and it is a common salt where we are using in our home cooking yes how this nacl what are the elements present in nacl na and cl the name of nacl is sodium chloride sodium chloride how this sodium chloride is formed and this is a chemical compound which is made up of sodium and chlorine atoms they combine to form sodium chloride let us see how this compounds are forming so there should be a chemical bonding between the sodium and the chlorine atom that should be a chemical bonding between sodium atom and the chlorine atom let us see before getting into how compounds are formed we need to know the term called valency let us give you a simple example to understand this valency if you are keeping your hand in a bag full of chocolates how much chocolates you can accommodate in your hand any idea girls yes you can accommodate maximum number of chocolates from that basket you want to have more number of chocolates yes likewise all the atoms in this periodic table want to have more number of electrons in its outermost shell let us see sodium and chlorine are the atoms present in sodium chloride compound how sodium and chlorine combines to form sodium chloride there a chemical bonding is taking place for that we need to know the atomic structure of sodium and chlorine through this basic structure of atom this is a basic structure of atom in the middle nucleus will be present electrons are revolving around the nucleus in special particular orbits in this nucleus it contains neutrons and protons and this outermost shell contains electrons this is the basic structure of atom and this structure is proposed by dalton this modern atomic theory is proposed by john dalton so looking at the electronic structure of sodium this is called the atomic number and the atomic number of sodium is 11 this shows the number of electrons so i am going to arrange the electrons of sodium in atomic level of sodium the inner shell contains two electron this shell contains eight electrons this atomic configuration of electronic configuration of sodium is 2 8 1 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 1 11 this is the atomic number of sodium so i have arranged the electrons in shells of sodium only one electron is remaining i am 
placing it in third shell of sodium. Likewise, the atomic number of chlorine is 17. So, the configuration will be like 2, 8, 7. 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 7, 17. 17 is the atomic number of chlorine and 17 number of electrons are present in chlorine atom. So, I am going to place this electrons in shells of chlorine. The second, second shell contains 8 electrons and the outermost shell contains 7 electrons. So, as I told before, if you keep your hand in a bag full of chocolates, how much amount of chocolate you will accommodate in your hand? You will you, you will have maximum number of chocolates in your hand. So, every atom wants to have maximum number of electrons in their outermost shell. If it contains 2 electrons or 8 electrons in its outermost shell, we can say that atom is stable. So, in this sodium atom, how many electrons are there in outermost shell? Only one electron. So, I can say the valency of sodium is 1. So, simply we can define valency as a combining capacity of atoms. So, so combining capacity of sodium is 1. If this one electron is not here, I can say this sodium atom is completely stable. Here, it contains 7 electrons in its outermost shell. So, the valency is 7. Do you think, think like that? No, the valency is not 7. As I told before, if it has 8 electrons in its outermost shell, it attains a stable configuration. It does not contain 8 electrons. So, if it, it needs one more electrons to contain its stable octet. Likewise, it, it needs to donate this one electron to attain its stable con in its stable configuration. So, during chemical bonding, this one electron is transferred from chlorine so sodium's outermost shell to chlorine's outermost shell. So, that it can attain stable configuration by the configuration 2, 8 and it can attain its stable configuration by accepting one electron 2, 8, 8. This is how a yes, bond between and sodium and chlorine atom is formed. This is how a chemical compound is forming.